Hi everyone, Fireplays here, and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, um, we are going to be going over this article that the AFL have released about an hour ago, uh, and it is update injury watch and your pracking match eye right, catches. So I thought that I'd go through this with you guys. Um, I'm actually recording this straight after the first one has gone out. So again. If you did leave a suggestion for this one, I'm sorry that it won't be in here, but let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start now. So uh, from Adelaide, of course, first team. Uh, injury watch is pool season and concussion symptoms. Uh, it remains a big concern. Uh, and then Wayne Miller should be ready to play in the Amy Community Series. And Matt Crouch got through the Crows uh, practice match without incident. Um... And Taylor Walker will be suspended for the opening three weeks of the season. So that's how that's how Adelaide going. Um, Rochelle was pretty good though. Drafty, yep. Josh Rochelle was uh, already in consideration for a round one debut. Um, after a standout match performance, he booted three of the Crows' seven goals. So that's what would that work out to be? That'd be it's a pretty good stack anyway. Um, and then uh, Harry Schonberg was also solid, and Sam Bray was irregular in the center square. So that's nice, building a good team here. Um, and obviously having the lines in the practice match is not easy at all. It's not easy. So, uh, yeah. Now, injury watch. Um, Dane Zorko missed Friday's match against the Western Bulldogs. Caden Coleman was a close COVID contact, so he's also not going to be playing uh, for Brisbane. That's the injury or sidelines, people that are on the sidelines. Um, practice match eye catches were definitely Cam Rayner. Um, obviously, who could play the four quarters? It's going to be amazing seeing him back into things, of course, former number one pick. Uh, Daniel McStay was the man who's shown, kicked four goals. And Zach Bailey was also very good, um, popping up everywhere in those contests. All right, so now for Carlton. Um, Charlie Kerner limped off with a in, with an injury late, but uh, he wasn't even sent for scans. Um, Martin Plowman should be playing in the community series. Um, Doherty, yes. Yes, Doherty, it'd be nice to see him back, actually. And then Mackay, Zaconi, an outside chance to rec to return. Should be okay for round one regardless. So, even if they don't return, it doesn't really matter because you want to keep them fit for round one. Obviously, you do have Melbourne. That'll be an absolute challenge. Um, for Carlton, Pratt's max eye catches. Um, Carlton saw good signs uh, from a new look midfield against St Kilda, Chera, Hewitt, and then... Linking up well with Cripps, Fisher, and then Williams. Uh, he's actually getting uh, going across half back, and Silvani kicked two goals up forward. Um, but yeah, Cheryl was probably one of the main standouts. Collingwood, Isaac Quain was suffered a whack to the head. Um, rough head, has a shoulder injury, so he won't be coming back till round four. Dugowie and Hare will be tested this week before the final game of the preseason. All right, so that's pretty interesting, of course, for both for, the, for that club. Um, and yeah. So, it'd be good having, like, for the Pies, obviously having to go in how would be amazing uh, for you guys. Um, and the practice match eye catches Jamie Elliott's dazzled um, in more well, scoring five goals. Cox put up his hand for a round one return. Uh, Lipinski definitely looms his great value. And they just handed up pick 43 for him. And Patrick Lipinski, he's, he's doing a good job. Now, we have got injury watch for the Bombers. Um, Harrison, Jones, Shield, Kelly, Langford all returning from their injury concerns in last week's practice match against the Western Bulldogs. Stringer is the main watch head of round one. Um, Phillips is nursing an, an adductor strain. Hurley will be having some time off. Um, Reid had the taking the cautious approach with uh, Zach Reid after his foot injury. And Tim Woody will not be um not be available for the first part of the year. Now practice match eye catches definitely Perkins and Cox. Um that was good. And then you've got Hobbs um and Baldwin had their moments as they pushed for their senior selection. So injury watch for the Dockers. Fife, Darcy, Ryan, Mundy, Walters are all set to feature in the Amy community series. That does do something. That does do a lot. That list there is probably one of the, like, that's one of the most star-studded names you could have. Tucker, Benning, Amiss have been managed. Johnson has a foot injury. James H played in the scratch match. Um, 
after an interrupted preseason. There is a list spot on the Dockers list after the retirement of Luke Valente. However, uh, the eye catches were definitely Michael Fed Fred <laughs> Frederick at uh, booting five goals. Um, Liam Henry owned a wing. Will Brody was one of the team's main inside midfielders. Clark um, was good, and Brayshaw was best on ground in midfield. Brayshaw is going to be an absolute gun. He's going to be a player that's going to be on millions, of, like a million dollars, when he hits his peak at around that 27, 28, 26 kind of mark. He is going to be at his best, and I cannot wait to see that. Uh, injury watch for the Cats. We have got Henry, Foot, Duncan, Calf are still in the hunt to recover. The player in one, but the clock is ticking. Yes, it is. Grian Myers is back. Sam Nicola, Segler are both recovering from knee surgery and are likely, I mean, and are unlikely to play in the opening rounds of the season. That, so that will probably rule them out for the first two or three rounds. Um, Tom Hawkins is good, but it was all about Tyson Stengel. He really stepped back into AFL, made an impact. Um, yeah, that was good. Gold Coast injury watch. Um, Wits and Lacocious. We're going to play in a running session as they ramped up to play Geelong next Monday night. Again, a pretty tough match for the um, Young Suns, um, although they did definitely beat the power, but again, could just be a little bit of a fluke by the power. Um, Bose is still another 8 to 10 weeks away from returning, and Ben King will miss the season. So Ben King will miss the season. That is very unfortunate for the Gold Coast Suns. Um... Praise match. Oh, I catch this. Rankin was a consistent source of headaches for power. Um, and then Lockie Weller was also damaging in his new role at half back. Now for the Giants. Four players that missed the match against Sydney will be available to play Congo this weekend. Hopper, Taylor, Brune, and Kennedy are all expected to return. Uh, and then practice match. Oh, I catch this. Um, Stephen Cornelio uh, was pretty good. Uh, and then Lockie Whitfield was also a driving half from the from the back half with his. Um, Brilliant boys. Uh, so those halfbacks, they do play a pretty big role, and some of them have really lit up to show they are going to have a good year. Uh, Hawthorne injury watch. Um, Cicely Gunston returns, um, but the Hawks are going to be without Daddy and Impy to start the season. Wingard is in the mix to play some minutes this weekend after rolling his ankle a couple of weeks ago, while Bruce is set to return against the Tigers, completing concussion protocols, and Jaff is still coming from the PCL that ended his 2021 campaign. Um, and he wants to be fit for round one. But again, the clock is just ticking and ticking and ticking. Uh, practice match eye catches Warple. Um, yeah, Warple is a pretty big one as he is a younger player who, again, still has a lot. Uh, he still has a good future. Newcomb also showed that he wants a place in Mitchell's midfield. Um, and Ward and Sicily were very good. So uh, Sicily was the major positive and Ward put up his hand for a round one debut. Now, Melbourne's injury watch. I don't see, don't see anything would be too bad for them. Aside from disclaiming finger to Clayton Oliver, which was fixed almost instantly, Melbourne should enjoy a near perfect outing. Jack Lever should return from a rolled ankle um, against Carlton this week, while Jack Viney should hopefully be out of the AFL's health and safety protocols. Fit, uh, Fritz should also recover from a caught ankle. I meant caught calf, uh, and Adam Tomlinson made a timely return, um, and then Harrison Petty. Um, it's pre-season calf surgery, so they have lost um, Harrison Petty. Price math eye catches, though. Um, you've got Gorn, Petrarca, Oliver, Brown kicked five goals, McDonald, Harms. Wow. Their, their team's just amazing. They've just got an amazing team. Now they're for North. Um, their injury watch is Callum Coleman-Jones. They're waiting for scans. Um... And then Davies, Uniac, and Simpkin uh, both missed the clash with the minor um, bit of gastro. Should be fine for this week. Uh, Amy Communities, Luke McDonald, and Tristan Zeri should also return. And Anderson will need to prove his match fitness before he's considered. Um, now, we've got the eye catchers. It was Horn Francis who showed patches of being electric pretty much. Goldstein was also impressive. Hugh Greenwood was uh, arguably the guest, the, the size most influential player, and Marnie enjoyed a good summer. Uh, now for Port Adelaide, this one's a big one. This one is a big one. They did lose a couple of players. So, Scotty Lysett will play this week. Uh, Power Pepper will either play this week or will definitely be available for round one. Um, 
Now that Charlie Dixon is touching over the season opener with Fantasia further away, no cons no concerns with Rosie. Um, Bergman will be available for round one with Dumont and Farrell both unavailable due to knee injuries. Eye catches, butters. Um, Sin kicked the goal late in the game uh, and got plenty of the ball. And uh, Hayes got time to ruck given Lysa's injury. Great bit of two goals. Otherwise, it was a preseason game to forget for the power. Uh, yeah, for the Tigers. So for the Tigers, Graham is touch and go. Um, Lambert is also in doubt for the start of the Tigers campaign as he battles a hip complaint. Martin and Lynch have have had some recent niggles but returned to the field against the Cats. Now, eye catchers, um, Hugo Rousmith and Dow were lively while top 10 draft pick Josh Gibkes pushed, pushed his claim for a round one debut. Uh, Bolton was a standout with three goals um, in that time's thrilling performance. Now, um, I don't want to make this go for too long, so we're just going to try and finish this up and then get on to our predictions for the Amy Community Series. Injury watch for the Saints. Um, Geary's not going to be available for round one, or isn't expected to anyway. Hannabury will play some minutes over the next fortnight. Marshall Ryder were both managed and didn't play against Carlton, but there aren't any concerns with the Ruckman. Um, and Gresham played his first game uh, and is set to play a full game against the Bombers. Um, Battle was... Uh, Draft was a key forward, but he's made his name as a key defender. He kept Charlie Kerno down. Bradley Hill Sinclair looked dangerous coming off the halfback, providing speed and drive on the rebounds um, or on the counter attack, pretty much. Um, and again, they did lose that game because Carlton booted five goals in the first term. But again, Battle kept Kerno down. Biggest concerns um, are over small forward Papley, um, and Mills has been building up from an Achilles problem. Um, and yeah. Co-captain Mills still racing the clock to get back for round one. Um, obviously that is actually quite close. Now, Isaac Heaney was very good in the midfield. Um, and McCartan marked everything in defence and showed he was a chance to force his way in for round one. Uh, now for West Coast, this was a very disappointing performance. They've got probably a fair few people with um injuries. Darling's future is uncertain. Allen is out with a foot. Campbell Tress's foot. Uh, Dom Sheed is out with syndemosis. Um, Elliot Yo joined him on the bench uh, with a calf Achilles uh, issue. Luke Shuey's hamstring. Tom Cole ankle cartilage. Jamie Cripps pectoral. Greg Clark AC joint. And Brad Shepard retired pre-season. This is ridiculous. They've got so many players out. Although eye patches, eye catches, they were thin on the ground in ninety-seven point Heine, but Tim. Kelly won plenty of the ball and will need to shoulder a heavy load when the season starts. Jermaine Jones looked comfortable. Willie Rowley showed his class. And Hugh, Dick and Hugh Dixon was, complete, was declared the team's best. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right. Western Bulldogs, injury watch. you got Bailey Smith is expected to play this week. Uh, Keith battled back. Itchy, but is okay. It's, well, it should be right to go against the Lions at Marvel Stadium. Uh... Tim O'Brien is unlikely to be ready for round one. Um, and then you've also got, like, Butler, Garcia, Sam Darcy. Um, yeah, he's going to be ruled out for the first part of the season. Uh, McLean and Bruce are long-term propositions. So, perhaps match eye oh, catches. Ed Richards was looking pretty good. Uh, and Arthur Jones has played some zip and would do his chance of round one berth. Uh, and now... It's time to go on to the Amy Community Series predictions. Now, I'm truly sorry. I would normally do my nice-looking tipping, uh, but because I'm I'm actually like running out of time, because um, I've got to I've got to be somewhere very soon. So I'm running out of time. I don't have enough time to set up the slides or anything like that. So today we're just doing this. Uh, it was, there's not going to be anything on the screen. You've just got to listen for your team. So Carlton versus Melbourne. I think Melbourne are going to be able to win this one by about. By about um, 40 points. A strong, strong against North Melbourne was good. And and then Carlton did play well against the Saints. But I just think that Melbourne will just be a lot better than them. Friday night, got an absolute thriller here. Dogs, Lions, Marvel Stadium. Now, I do think the Dogs will be able to take this one out by 25 points. Um, although Brisbane are going to look really good through the midfield. And I think this is going to be like... Nah, I'm going to change it to 15 for the Doggies. Actually, 15-point win for the Doggies. Um, so then that's the Friday. Um, 
And then on the Saturday, we've got a couple of games here. Uh, and not at some known stadiums either. We've got first two games at Marvel. We've got three games at Marvel. And then we've got yeah, a couple of um, games at stadiums that are smaller. But we've got Hawthorne Richmond on the Saturday. Um, and I do predict Richmond are going to win this one by... By about 45 points as well, or by about 55, this is gonna, this is probably going to be the biggest win of the uh, community series. As Hawthorne did not look very good against the Pies, so that does show something. Now, Adelaide Power, I think the Power will win by uh, about 50 points as well. Um, again, just pressing their case that the Suns was a fluke, uh, just a game to forget that it was not a long-term thing. Otherwise, if Adelaide come out and win, there is something wrong with the Power. But again, they do have a couple of injuries, but again, there's no excuse they should be winning this game. Essendon St Kilda Marvel Stadium on the Saturday night. Oh, this is tough. I'm going to give the benefit to the Bombers, though. I think the Bombers will be able to win this one by 10 points in a very close game. Giants Collingwood on the Sunday at Giant Stadium. Also, double header Sydney North on Giant Stadium as well. Uh, I predict the Giants will win on their home deck by about... Uh, by about 30 points over the Pies. No, by about 40 points over the Pies. Swans will beat the Roos by 50 points as well um, on Giants Stadium. Now, uh, we head over into the West uh, for Fremantle West Coast. This could be another embarrassing. I'm going to say Frio by 80 points. I just think after what they did last time, they'll be able to do something quite similar to that again. So I'm going to say Frio by 70 points. Uh, and then on the Monday... Gold Coast Geelong, I'm going to say Geelong by 40 points to round out the community series. And then it starts off with round one. So let's go over the fixture for round one. And this is exciting. This is exciting. Melbourne Dogs, Carlton Richmond, St Kilda Collingwood, Geelong Essendon, G GWS Sydney, Brisbane Port Adelaide, Hawthorne North, Adelaide Freo, West Coast, Gold Coast. I do think that we've got some brilliant games in round one. But that is going to be it for today's footy talk. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday to preview round one and we'll be going back over how the amy community series went you guys can leave some other suggestions for what to do um as well uh, sorry this went for a long time that article was unexpected but yeah um hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the notification bell send you guys in another video on channel thank you guys for all so much for watching so bye guys fire plays out